hello students in this lecture we will see the problem based on regular falsi method the problem is use the regular falsi method to find the fourth root of 12 correct two three decimal places solution one of the important kind of example in this regular falsi method so they have said fourth root of 12 so fourth root of 12 mathematically it is written as square root of 12 of order 4 okay so this will consider as let x is equal to we need to consider this one so which is nothing but so we need to prepare our equation so which implies taking uh, uh, taking 4 on both side or I can say that x is equal to this uh, square root of 12 of order 4 can be written as 12 raised to 1 by 4. So this fourth root of 12 can be written as what here 12 raised to 1 by 4 or I don't want this 1 by 4 means taking the power 4 on both side taking the power 4 on both side so if you take 4 on both side what happens x raised to 4 is equal to this 4 4 cancels we are going to get 12 so which is nothing but or it is nothing but x raised to 4 minus 12 equal to 0 so we got a equation so this equation we need to simplify so therefore f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 12 so this is the equation to solve and and get a approximate value for this above expression here so once we get so we need to check the values uh, for uh, where it is going to take positive and negative so we'll take uh, in the calculator so we'll type this equation in the calculator so go for mode then table then type this equation that is x raised to 4 minus 12 that is alpha x raised to 4 minus 12 and press equal to sign starting value is 0 end value is 5 step size is 1 and you will find the table as 0 as minus 12 uh, 1 as minus 11 2 as 4 so I got negative and positive so for f of 1 it is minus 11 and for f of 2 it is plus 4 so we will use it that one so therefore on calculation we got this as f of 1 as minus 11 and f of 2 as plus 4 this is negative positive so therefore the initial root lies in 1 comma 2 and see that 1 is negative place and 2 is positive place here so with the help of this again we can reduce the same to reduce the number of iterations so again we will go back AC button and we will go back so we will give as for the same equation starting value will give as 1 end value will give as 2 and step size will give as what here 0 0.1 as per the remark so you can again you will find a table here so you got here uh, for 1 minus value 1.1 minus value 1.2 minus value use a cursor button then again negative 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 all negative we are getting and uh, you can see here so we got 1.1 8 as negative and 1.9 as positive so 1.8 is minus 1.50 something and here so these values will note it down so for f of 1.8 we got minus 1.5024 and f of 1.9 we got positive value which is 1.0321 so which is negative positive so therefore the fresh root r the fresh root is or the root lies in 1.8 comma 1.9 means answer will be 1.8 something we'll see that what is the answer so here you can see that 1.8 is negative and 1.9 is positive so therefore with the help of this first iteration is
So formula is what here x1 is equal to a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a. So collect the value of a, b and f of b and f of b apply here. We will see what we will get. So collect the value of a is 1.8, b is 1.9, f of a is minus 1.504. And f of b is 1.0321. So if you apply in the formula, so I will use the calculator to substitute the value of a and b. So you can, I had prepared already the formula here for a into b raised to 4 minus 12 minus b into a raised to 4 minus, if you use the cursor button, you can find all the values here. Okay, minus 12 divided by this go for calc option so if you a value is 1.8 and b value is 1.9 a value is 1.8 b value is 1.9 so what we'll get here just see 1.85927 so on so 1.8593 will make it so up to four decimal place we'll calculate so x1 is equal to 1.85 9 3 so first approximation so this value will apply in the equation in the iteration number 2 so second iteration so we need to check f of 1.8593 in the equation that is x raised to 4 that is 1.8593 raised to 4 minus 12 so we'll apply this in the equation so the equation is x raised to 4 minus 12 go for calc option so value of x is what here 1.8593 1.8593 and check what we'll get we got negative here minus 0.04917 so on so minus 0.0492 i will take so on so which is negative value so negative value means you just go back and check here here negative value is 1 point 1 point 8 is negative and 1.9 is positive answer here 1.8 is negative answer 1.9 is positive answer so 1.8 negative so therefore instead of 1.8 we have to update it as this value that is 1.8593 we have to write it so therefore the root the root lies in 1.8593 comma 1.9 as it is so fresh roots so therefore the x2 formula will be what here a f of b minus b f of a divided by f of b minus f of a so therefore so a value is 1.8593 b value is 1.9 f of a answer what we got it is minus 0.0492 f of b that is 1.9 previous answer 1.0321 so if you apply the same in the calculator which is uh, already we have the formula in the calculator use the center button and go for calc option a value is 1.8 8593 equal to b value is remain as is 1.9 so see the answer as it is 1.86115 so i will make it 1.8612 so x2 value will be 1.8612 so previous x1 and x x1 and so you can see here so x1 value we got 1.8593 and x2 we got 1.86212 so there is a lot of difference so therefore we will go for uh, next iteration here and as per the ins instruction also we need to check for three decimal place so here it three decimal place is 1.859 and here it is 1.861 so there is a no match and they are not near also so we will go for the third iteration So 
third iteration so in this third iteration we need to check for f of 1.8612 that is 1.8612 raised to 4 minus 12 and we'll see the answer how much we'll get here so already the formula is there in the calculator go for just take center cursor don't press on button so it will remain cal x value is 1.8612 and uh, check the value here we got again negative value so it is nothing but uh, I will write directly it is if you see the value here it is a 2.506271 so into 10 raised to minus 4 so I will write it as it is 0. Point minus times minus times 0. Point 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 raised to 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, 0, 6, so on. So, which is again negative. So, instead of uh, negative place, we need to up update. So, therefore, the root lies in 1.8612,1.9. So, again, A value is 1.8612. 8612 and b value is 1.9 so i will apply directly in the formula and uh, x3 will find it here so a value is okay a value is 1.8612 a value is 1.8612 okay and b value is 1.9 1.9 and see the answer here so we'll get 1.8612 1.8612 and you can see here the previous x2 and x3 values are same so these two are same so therefore we can conclude that up to three decimal places as the required the required fourth root of 12 to three decimal places three decimal places is 1.861 so in this way we need to work out a problem based on this regular falsy method.